coming up this week, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. No, no, I am still running, but it's kind of different. Now, before you get too excited, it's not this week that I'm doing the thing that I mentioned a few weeks ago that is completely different from my runs. That is still coming up at some undetermined point, yet to be determined point, in the future. But I am going to do that. And I've got plans for some other slightly different videos as well. So subscribe, stay tuned. You never know what's going to happen in these videos. No, the reason that it's different this week is because I'm actually going out for a run in the evening. It's about up past seven, something like that. I don't normally run that late in the day, um, but there are very good reasons why I am running that late. And I'm going to tell you all about it after today's run. Now, I'm not going to be vlogging my run or run or, or, vlogging as I run, as I do sometimes in recent videos but I am going to do some montage bits because I know you like that so let's get running and I'll tell you all about what's going on straight after the run take my hand and we will conquer the world this is our final chance because one day we'll be looking back at this we were in a big mess together oh, but we found a way to choose right from wrong we found the strength to go Dancing closely together and staying forever young. What about you and I then? Can we two find a way to align with each other? Let's move closer to a new history. Find out what we can be together. Mm. Take my hand and we will conquer the world. This is our final chance. run complete and whether you can tell uh that it has, it's getting quite dark now it's nine o'clock yeah actually i said it was about past seven didn't i when i started the run it wasn't it was after so it's getting on 20 quarters away actually and anyway let's put the times up on the screen and you will see if you're a regular viewer straight away that i have run a bit further than normal and that's part of the reason why i've come out a bit later because when i go out normally I might do a short one during the week, 5K. I mean, I don't tend to vlog those and I can be out and home, even including the time to get ready, uh, warm up, cool down, the run, the shower, everything. Um, probably in an hour, maybe under an hour to do that, to do everything. So it's not too much of a dent in the day and I can organize myself very easily to do that. When I go out for my longer run at the weekend, it's 10K and also I vlog and I do tend to do maybe a little bit longer warm up and also a little bit of a longer uh, cool down. So all of that adds up to a much longer stint. And what I tend to do, like a lot of people at the weekend, you kind of do stuff, don't you? There might be little jobs that you need to do around the house. You might want to pop out somewhere. You might want to do this. I've worked during the week, like we all do. And uh, yeah, you know, at the weekends, so sometimes you've got other stuff to do. So what tends to happen is I tend to go out late afternoon, but I want to get home to have something to eat. So, and uh, normally my wife, cooks on a on a weekend and uh she'll cook maybe for about half past five a little bit of domestic bliss for you there and uh yeah it just means that if i might not go out till four or half past four or something you know it doesn't give me a lot of time so that's part of the reason why i've come out this evening because i've got all evening really i've got as much time oh hello 
and there was light. Um, yeah, I've got, you know, as much time, really, as, as I need. And if I'm going to start to push a bit further distance... Hello, you turn the lights out then. If I'm going to push a bit further distance, as I've been talking about, as I talked about last week, then I need that bit more time. So I thought today I did have various things going on. I could have gone out sort of late afternoon, but I thought, no, I'm going to leave it, go out this evening. And I really enjoyed it because actually this, this is a touristy area that I live in. But most of the tourists seem to have like left. They've gone off perhaps for something to eat. And uh, uh, so it was nice. I was able to run along the, the cliff top, as you probably saw, and along the promenade. And there wasn't too many people about. It was, it was nice. There were people sort of in eateries and that sort of thing. But they weren't sort of in my way. And I wasn't getting in their way. So, yeah, that was quite, that was good. I really enjoyed that. Did you see the fox in the montage? There was a fox there. It showed how late it was. The foxes are out already doing their scavenging, the urban foxes. That was a bit... It didn't... It wasn't scared of me at all. They're not, are they? They just sort of looked at me, thought, what are you doing? And carried on scavenging. So, like they do. Oh, I must say, you probably noticed I've got two AirPods in. If you saw last week's video, you'll know only one of them was working. A big shout out to Kelly, who gave me a little tip to get it working again. And if you have problems with your uh, AirPods, if you have AirPods, only one works... Read, look at last week's video and look for Kelly's comment because uh, she tells me how to fix it. Thanks very much. So that's good. So I can actually hear what's going on. The thing is, I'm not very, I've got a bit of a little bit of a hearing problem. And typically the AirPod that was working was the one in my not very good ear. That was right. So when I only had one, it wasn't really the right one for me, if that makes any sense. It wasn't very good. So I had really struck in with the volume pumped up. I was, I was struggling to hear the podcast I was listening to today. No problem. I was listening to a very geeky, techie Posca podcast, and it kept me going for the whole run. So that's really good. Anyway, I must get home because it's getting dark. I don't know what this looks like. It must look very dark. So I'll have to see if I can do something about that when I edit it, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I'll light myself with a virtual studio light or something. And uh, don't believe anything you see in film. None of it's true. Um, anyway, that's it. So thank you very much for watching, as usual. And uh, I have got some exciting stuff coming up, I hope, uh, in the not too far distant future. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do hit that subscribe button and you'll find out what it is. Don't forget to leave your comments because I love reading them. And I will see you for another video next week.